Ciao a tutti e bentornati in questo nuovo video. Welcome back to this new video. One of the first topics I usually teach to my students is the weather. Talking about the weather in Italian. Talking about the weather is usually a great way to start a conversation in another language because it allows you to extend that conversation and talk about different things. For example, if I ask what's the weather like today and the student says that it's sunny, I usually tend to extend and say Oh, what do you like to do on a sunny day? Do you like to play any sports on a sunny day? Same holds, of course, if the weather is rainy. In that case, I would ask, what do you usually do or how do you usually spend your rainy day? Therefore, I think it's really important to know how to answer to the weather question in Italian. In today's video, we will learn how to ask what's the weather like, but especially how to answer. And we will learn how to answer in multiple ways. That way, if you don't remember one way, you can maybe remember the other. We will cover the most possible types of weather, and by the end of this video, next time you speak to an Italian, you'll be able to talk about the weather perfectly. So without further ado, let's get started. Of course, the first thing that we need to know is how to ask what's the weather like today, or how's the weather. Let's have a look at the three possible ways in which we could ask that. What's the weather like? Three common ways to say it. The first one, che tempo fa? Second one, che tempo c'è? Third one, and the one I use the most, com'è il tempo? If we want to give general answers and say, today is nice, today is beautiful, today is hot, or today is cold, today is ugly, then we can use these four expressions. We can say fa bello or è bello to say that it's beautiful. We can say fa caldo or è caldo to say that it's hot. We can say fa brutto or è brutto to say that the weather is not nice. We can say fa freddo or è freddo if it is cold. So these are the most general answers that we could give at first. Let's now learn how to do the proper and most detailed answer to say that it is sunny, it is rainy, it is windy, etc. Let's look at the three structures for the answer. First one, c'è, ci sono, followed by now. That means there is, there are, plus noun. There is sun, there is rain, etc. Second one is the verb. For example, we may have to snow or to rain. And third one is è plus adjective. For example, it is sunny, it is rainy. First case, rainy. We can use the noun structure, c'è la pioggia. We can use the adjective, è piovoso. Or we can use the verb piovere to rain. Therefore, it rains is piove. However, there are many degrees of rain. It can rain just slightly, it can rain normally, or it can rain a lot. Let's learn how to say each of those. When it rains just slightly, we use the verb pioviginare. This may change from region to region. So, piovigina. Then, normal rain, we would use piovere, as said before, so we would say Piove, it rains. And the third one, when it rains a lot, we use the verb diluviare. Diluvia, it rains a lot. Next one is snowy. Using the noun structure is c'è neve or c'è la neve. Using the adjective structure is è nevoso. Using the verb nevicare, which is to snow, we can say nevica. It snows. On to the next one, sunny. Here we only have two structures. The noun structure c'è il sole, or c'è sole, and the adjective è soleggiato. Following one, cloudy. Again, two structure. The noun structure ci sono le nuvole, there are clouds, or the adjective structure è nuvoloso. Then, foggy. Again, we have noun structure c'è nebbia, c'è la nebbia, or the adjective è nebbioso. Let's continue to windy. Again, two structures. C'è vento, that is the noun structure, or the adjective one. È ventoso. Last one for today is thunder or thunderstorm. Again, we have two structures. One is the noun structure. C'è il temporale, there is the thunderstorm. The second one is a verb. Tuonare, that means to thunder or to rumble. Therefore, we will say 
tuona or sta tuonando. Say that a thunderstorm is going on. All right, that's all for today. I hope you have learned some new words and some new ways to express the weather. If you use these, they will help you a lot in extending conversation. After mastering these, you can ask, for example, che cosa ti piace fare? Quando c'è il sole. What do you like to do when there is the sun, when it's sunny? Or you can answer, mi piace andare al mare quando fa caldo ed è soleggiato. I like going to the beach when it is hot and sunny. Or, mi piace bere la cioccolata calda quando nevica e fa freddo. I like drinking hot chocolate when it is snowy and cold. Now you should try to make some sentences and tell me what you like to do when it's hot or when it's cold or simply what's the weather like in your city. If you learned something new in today's video or if you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel and I really hope it was helpful and that you will start using these words from now on. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you on the next video. A presto!